Hi guys, Lady Random here and welcome back to Quack Pack. Okay, there's a couple of things I wanted to show you. Um, the initial thing that I was going to show you was, uh, we've actually, out of bait and I've actually cleaned these out, but the, uh, the, the fisher, unbeknownst to me, the fisher doesn't just fish for fish it seems. Um, yes, all there is in here at the moment is fish related things which is fine oh that's worth remembering again the uh, the green heart fish um but yeah there is just fish and fish related things in here however what i didn't know was this kind of does act a little bit like um you know an actual fishing rod in so much as that you can actually pick up other items as well that aren't just fish and was that our little little chap oh he's no he's back in that's good so yeah i've put together a little chest here of the uh, the stuff that has also come out of the fisher and it's quite a bunch of stuff um this i'm particularly interested in this is a bow that's actually in really good condition actually so withering one power four xp boost three that ladies and gentlemen is a bow um hmm might have to go and give this a bit of a test out um obviously shoot something that's considerably further away from me with the wither effect um bunch of leather boots so you've got some of the old tap that you actually get kind of out of the uh out of the uh the fishing thing we've got trip wire hooks we've got bowls we've got a name tag which is always good we've got some more saddles rotten flesh a couple of rubber saplings some lily pads some water bottles a plastic bag um, and that actually works like a, a loot bag as well and within that we actually got some melon seeds so that's that's okay so it's like a, a very basic sort of loot bag type thing but it is a a freebie nonetheless so i was kind of quite impressed with that now there was one other thing that um, was actually in there and it was a single use safari net but it was kind of changing color so it's one of these kind of random spawning ones which could be um, i wonder if we can actually get it up on on here yeah these ones here so the my factory reloaded single use ones you can see it kind of changes um and it's one of those things that is kind of a, a loot find so you might find it in um sort of some of the dungeons um but yeah we actually got it out of the fissure so with that it could potentially be any mob could be contained within that so i kind of took it off um went off to a, a safe distance away from the base just sort of making sure that we didn't spawn anything sort of nasty that could have been a uh, i don't know a um wither or something icky like that and I opened it and it was a chicken and i've gone off armed with a uh, a reusable safari net just so we could actually use it maybe to go in the uh, go in the auto spawner but no it wasn't anything that exciting so no nah. That was uh, that was what we ended up with, so a little bit disappointing. I was hoping for something slightly better than a chicken, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, it was still free. But I I let that chicken go free. I don't need I don't need chickens. It's fine. I have this, and I have this. We don't need chickens. But yeah, there we go. So that is that is the stuff that we're getting out of the fisher. So um, not a bad haul really. Um, considering that uh, you know it's not anything particularly particularly special let's just kind of junk these together there we go we've actually got a uh, a set of armor that's actually useful now there we go you can you can go in there but i wanted to kind of continue on a little bit with the uh, the whole kind of foodie thing so it's the uh, the pam's harvest craft stuff and there's a couple of extra bits that i wanted to make so with that, I'm looking at making the presser, which is dead easy. So that's just iron, or you can do it with bronze. Um, I think there's a variety of different ways, or you've got the refined iron and steel. But let's face it, let's just do the iron and pistons. And I also want to make the market. And I'm not quite entirely sure what the market does. But uh, I think you can actually kind of use it to trade. 
Um, there is also the churn as well, which is another thing that we'd like to make so we can make butter and things like that. So I thought we'd actually get on and make those in today's episode. So let's have a look. Do we have any pistons at all? It doesn't look like we do, but that's fine. That is just fine because we have more wood than anybody in the whole world could possibly need right now. So let's make ourselves a bunch of sticks. Let's grab ourselves some cobble. That's more cobble than we could actually possibly want to have. Let's get ourselves some redstone. Let's grab ourselves... Uh, nope. Oh, actually, while we're here. These things here. So this chest here, and this chest here, and in fact this chest here, um, are all things from tea snow and pygmy um probably notice the portal on the wall and that is actually through to their base now sadly they have decided that they uh they're not going to be playing on the server here anymore and it's not because they don't like it um it's more a case of the fact that they've actually got their own server they've got mods that they they would like to play on there um and it just kind of makes makes sense to them um, to go and, and do the things that they want to do on there. So no, good luck to both of them. We'll miss them on here. Um, but no, they've been very, very kind and sort of said that I was able to uh, to help myself to anything that I actually needed. So I am very, very grateful to both for those bits. So there we go. That is our presser. We should go and put that in situ in our little kitchen. So we'll probably put that, I think, that there. And with this, I believe you can put in um, probably fruit and things. Yep. So you put in mangoes and you'll get mango juice and you also get fruit bait out of it. Um, you put your sugar in there. You put your berries in. So this is a way we can actually get oil and bait in a much cheaper fashion. So it's a good way of sort of making use of the stuff that we actually get and we can actually use that in our uh, oh paper interesting but yeah we can get get some juices and get our bait at the same time so what's this silken tofu will give us firm tofu and soy milk okay and we get that from so you see we've got loads and loads of other things that we can actually we can actually make but we can get the bait for our traps as well. So it's kind of a, a really good little tool to have because that's going to save us all of that string um, from making the bait that we had. So, uh, yeah. Oh, what are you? Starfruit. So, yep, juice, oil, bait. Exactly what we actually need. So that is going to be dead, dead helpful. So let's make our churn as well so that is two is that two, just any sticks i think yeah i think that's any sticks so one two sticks one two three four five that's our churn and with that we should i believe be able to make butter so we'll put the milk into here and uh you kind of churn it I guess it, it does stuff I guess you might have to do something with it maybe uh, and the last thing I want to make was this which is a market which is quite expensive because it does need I think we can use any wood but it does need an emerald which is suggesting to me that it's a bit like a some kind of trader uh, we have got some emeralds we'll put our let's put our uh, iron and stuff like that back but yeah i think this is like a it's like a trader so it might it might actually need emeralds oh does it not work with jungle wood do you not work with jungle wood fir wood wedge wood green heart wood we've got every single wood see it does work it says it works with jungle wood planks ah wool 
Not all wood. Right. Let's have a look. What do we got in the way of wall? One, two, three, four. There we go. So it's wool, 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 wool. Plank, 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 plank. And emerald, and that gives us a market. And we can stick away all these bits now. Like our sticks and everything like that. There we go. And we have our market. Which we shall put down here. Now with that, it does mean that you can actually buy things. So this gives you the seeds that you can actually buy by the looks of things. So it looks like every single seed you could possibly... Oh, what's that? White mushroom spores. Oh, okay. So is that all the seeds there? Cotton seeds, cucumber. Just see if there's anything other than seeds. All seeds. Oh, no, we get saplings. What are you? Dark oak sapling. Oh, that'll be handy. Almond saplings. Apricots. So we could actually have ourselves a really good orchard. And that is three, three emeralds for those. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. <gasps> Buy spawn eggs. It's spawn eggs, and then back to the seeds again. By the looks, and that's not so bad. That's the trees. That's the uh, the seeds, and some spawn eggs. So that will prove very useful to us. Now, I think with this, why don't we go and do a little bit of a a test with our churn and see what happens? Let's grab some some buckets from somewhere I'm pretty sure somewhere in here we've got a bucket let's go and grab ourselves a bucket of milk from our little wee cows so, there we go one bucket of milk now I am considering the possibility of a of creating a rancher um i think with the rancher it, it does kind of like look after your cows and oh really really game right let's get up here um yeah with the rancher what i'm not sure about is whether it actually milks them and i th think i think it does which obviously if we're going to have a churn that would be quite useful. So we put our milk milk in there. Uh, what do we need to make the churn work? Do we think it needs some kind of fuel? Should we just grab some... Uh, what should we grab? Oak wood. Do you need fuel? not fuel. Ooh. Okay. Let me see what it is we need to make the churn work and I'll be back with you in a sec. And we're back. Okay. We need we need salt. Now do we have any salt in here at all? We've got plenty of sugar. Salt. There we go. So the salt is actually, it has quite a high value. So you can actually create, it's, it's a bit like coal. Um, you can actually create eight pats of butter out of a salt, but it does take time. So you kind of have to go away and and leave that and eventually it will turn it into butter. So kind of thinking we'll, um, we'll let that get on with doing what it needs to do. And uh, maybe at the end of the episode, we'll come back and see what it is. Now you would stop jumping on the bed for a start. I'm trying to sleep. Come on. No. Get off. Thank you. Let's go see if our fisher has turned up anything else for us. Oh, got a feather. Uh, no. How are we doing? It's working. I mean, we're getting plenty of fish, so we could always 
clear this lot out of it. I'm going to pop this away. But uh, yeah, I think the fisher is actually going to be quite a useful item for us. So hopefully we've got most of these these things in our refrigerator. Okay, let's go back and get the rest. There we go. So yeah, this is what we've got plenty of options for food. Um, I'm really quite liking the idea of uh, having some kind of um, orchard type thing. Is that a frog? Oh god, it is. <coughs> Won't be eating that. Okay, sort that. There we go. So we are, by the looks of things, actually going to end up needing to make another fridge. A wall of fridges is what we're going to need. But, um, yeah. So the press... So we can use that. Let's have a, a quick go with our press. We've got, uh, what do we have? I'm sure I saw some sesame seeds in here. Yes, I did. Right, let's put in, put in the sesame seeds. So it doesn't need any power whatsoever. And that gives us cooking oil and it gives us a grain bait which is always good to have. And I don't know whether I have any cooking oil in any of the other... No, I don't. So that gives us a grain bait. We've got mustard seeds there. Uh, that's beans. So what else is it that we can... we can press? I'm guessing the lemon, we can turn into lemon juice. Have we got any more things that we can make oil out of. I don't think we have. So we've got a chestnut. We've got walnuts. I think walnuts will probably make oil. But uh, yeah, we've got quite quite a few things that we can actually do now. Let's go and put this bait down in our trap again. But yeah, it's a nice simple way that of um, of getting getting the food, getting bait, um, it actually works quite nicely, I feel. Let's have a quick look, is our butter churn doing anything at all? Not at present, but uh, we'll, we'll leave that, that will take, take some time, it does take time to churn things anyway. But there we go. Okay, well I think we're going to call it an episode here. Um, it was sort of a little short catchy uppy one, just a couple of bits with the uh, the Pam stuff that we've been doing. But uh, I think for now, guys, thank you all very much for watching, and we shall see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.